ones who wish uh, harm to you, I understand. But if, if people of faith are of no consequence to you, if they leave you alone, they don't think much it's about the you. the one definition that they can't meet. Right. Which is? The, uh, the, 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 I am a person of faith who will leave you alone. It's not, it's not in them. They, how can it be? Uh, they say, God cares with whom I have sex, for example. They have to interfere in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them say God cares what I eat. They have to interfere. In my life. Some say God would mind what books I read. They have to interfere. Others will say it may be more compassionate. Well, they can't watch me go to hell. They have to intervene to stop that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be my friend. Mm -hmm. They'll love me to death if they have to. Right. The one thing they cannot do is leave me alone. Hence the book. Hence the argument. No, I, I, if someone said to me, look, I'll tell you what, Christopher, you and I are not quite the same. Um, I say, well, how is that? So, well, my mother bore me, but, but didn't have sex with a man before that. And I said, I had no idea. He said, well, how fascinating. Um, he said, well, it's, you see, it's like this. Because of that, you have to do what I say. That proves all my opinions are correct. I said, well, hold on. This sounds very weird to me, and actually now so rather nasty. Right. Well, that's what you're supposed to have to believe. If it were confined to them and people who believe what they believe, and did not extend over to you, and in fact, there are probably people who would argue that what they believe doesn't necessarily have to extend over to you. Would you be okay with that? Uh, well, possibly, but I'll tell you what else would happen. Right. Um, they'd start fighting among themselves. It's not they won't leave me alone. They won't leave people of other faiths alone. Most of the murder and torture and killing that goes on in Iraq is of, is of two discrepant kinds of Muslim slaughtering right. each other's families. The same is true in India, m m a Muslim on Hindu, in the Balkans, Catholic versus Orthodox Christians, and then combining to murder the local Muslims. Um, we all get dragged into these terrible wars of faith. No, of course they won't leave us alone. They've gravely retarded civilization for hundreds of years. They're still doing it. There's no, no possibility of living a life that's untouched by this barbaric belief. Well, again, let me talk about outliers and non-outliers. Is there a hierarchy in your mind certain faiths are more problematic to you in terms of that argument than others? Well, my daughter goes to a Quaker school, for example, my youngest daughter in Washington. They teach non-resistance to evil, which I regard as an evil doctrine. But I don't regard it as evil as the preaching of evil is, right. shall we say. So if I'm told, well, do you mean that someone who's a member of the Society of Friends is the same as someone who supports the Ayatollah Khomeini? No, I don't. Of course not. But they all make the same mistake, which is to praise the idea of faith over, and to elevate it over reason and evidence and to say, on the most important thing of all, which is why are we here what are we to do? What is the meaning of our life? On the most important questions, they say that it's very important to decide it without evidence, that you must make an unprovable assertion and then demand respect for it. Well, I think the sleep of reason brings forth monsters.